Hello, this is Nick from Bimpure. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to recreate this ladder family in Revit. Let's have a look at it. If I go to the type properties of this ladder, you can see there's an angle parameter and a ladder clearance. So the height reached by the ladder. Let's try changing some of these values. I will change the angle to 20 degrees and the ladder clearance uh, to be a little bit higher. If I click on apply, you can see that the ladder changes. What is nice about it as is both the length, the complete length of the ladder and the depth automatically adjust with formula. So the experience is extremely simple for the end user, only change the angle and the ladder clearance. But in the back end, there are some principles, things that the family creator must do. And in this tutorial, we're going to go through all of it. This tutorial is an excerpt from the new Bimpure course called Herrick Families. Here in this Revit file that is included in the course, you can see multiple families and each chapter has a collection of families to help you learn the principles, uh, not only the families, along with some instructions to play around with them and learn all the principles to become a Revit family mega master. Uh, you can see in this case, we're doing the ladder, but there are other case studies along with complete instruction. The course include a PDF guide, video tutorials, uh, this sample files, case studies and challenges. Okay, back to the ladder family. The key principles here are the use of work plane based families of a reference line to control the angle and of trigonometry formulas to automatically adjust the length and depth of the ladder. Inside of the finished family, you can see the reference line in the angle and how the ladder dimensions are automatically adjusted when you change the values. The first step is to create a normal straight ladder family. This family will be nested into another family where it will be easier to control the angle. If you have basic knowledge of families, creating this family shouldn't be a challenge. Create reference planes, labels, and model an extrusion for the rails. For the ladder rungs, it is better to create a nested family that contains a single element. This is our wrong family. Load it into the straight ladder family. Create a single element and position it at an offset from the bottom of the ladder. Then, use the Array tool located in the Modify tab. Make sure to use the Move to Last option. Align and lock the second element to the reference planes. Select one of the elements in the array. You will see a line with the number 2. Click it and in the options bar, create a new parameter for the number of elements. In the family type menu, type a formula for the number of rungs. The formula is height minus twice the height offset, divided by the standard distance between two rungs, which is 254 millimeters. You can see the number of rungs is automatically determined based on the ladder's height. This family is almost ready. In the instance properties, you can see a parameter called work plane based. Check this box, then uncheck the box that says always vertical. A work plane based family can be hosted on other elements and work planes instead of being placed on a level. Now let's create a new generic model family. Create standard dimensions for the ladder width. Go to the left elevation view. Create a new reference plane on the right side and another above the level. Create horizontal and vertical dimensions. We use simple letters for the parameter names. This will make it easier to write formulas later on. The horizontal dimension is A and the vertical one is B. Now it's time to add a reference line. Place it at the corner of this intersection. Then align the endpoint to the reference planes. Use tab to select the point of the line and make sure to click on the lock icon. Add an angle dimension between the horizontal plane and the reference line. Create a new label for this value. It's time to nest the straight ladder into this new family. Go to a 3D view. Use the view cube to position the view in between the left side and the front side. In the project browser, find the straight ladder family. Drag and drop it into the 3D view. In the ribbon, select the option called Place on Work Plane. Then, use the Pick option for a placement plane. Position your cursor on the reference line and press Tab once. You should see preview of the ladder. Press spacebar to rotate it. Click to create the ladder. 
you can see the ladder is upside down. Select it and click on this icon to flip it. You've just placed the ladder on one of the work plane of the reference line. This way, the ladder will always follow the angle of the line. Let's position the ladder at the origin of the family. Use the Align tool and pick the end point of the reference line. Align the ladder vertical line to it. Try playing with the angle to see if it works. It's time to associate the length of the ladder. Select the nested ladder and go to the type properties. Click on the small rectangle next to the height parameter. Call this parameter C. We will change the name later. It's now time to do a bit of trigonometry. Maybe in high school, you've thought that trigonometry wasn't helpful. Wrong. You don't need to memorize any trigonometry formulas. I like to use this cheat sheet created by Brenton Weiberg of RivetFamily.biz. In this case, the user enters the A angle and the B length. The formulas need to calculate values B and C. The formula for C is B divided by cos angle, and the formula for A is B multiplied by tan angle. Enter these formulas. You can see the ladder's length is automatically adjusted based on the height clearance value and the angle. Since we are done writing down the formulas, you can modify the parameter names to be more easily understood by the end users. A becomes ladder width, B becomes ladder clearance, C becomes ladder length. Modify other parameters you need and assign material parameters, then load the family into the project to test it. The goal of this family is to have a simple, pleasant experience for the end user. They simply change the angle and the clearance height values. This ladder family has two key parameters you can control. The first is the angle, and the second is the ladder clearance. The ladder depth and length are automatically calculated. In this tutorial, you will learn how to recreate this family. If you've enjoyed this video, check out our new Revit course called Herrick Families. This course will teach you how to create strong, powerful, lean, and efficient families your colleagues will love using. The course focuses on high-level principles and advanced strategies although it also contains content for family beginners. It includes an ebook PDF, video tutorials, case studies, the Mega Revit sample file, access to live masterclasses, and more. Check out the link in the video description to get all the details.